So right now we're kind of just working on putting different suspension bits onto the frame. This isn't gonna be the actual frame, obviously. This is like a mold of the frame. But Bob did say we will be using this to test drive, right? Slow speed test drives, which I think is pretty cool. Is there gonna be like anything reinforcing it or is it just? The fiberglass material actually is strong enough to do that. Not for, you know, not speed events, just. Just like going down the road, like slow speeds, yeah. Slow speed, just to make sure that the steering all works and all of the pieces fit, you know? Right. Well, yeah, guys, this is what it's gonna look like as far as the frame goes. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought. It's probably gonna be a little bit bigger with the, the body on it, but. So we got both control arms in there. They need all the bolts still. Well, not all of them, we just need a couple more to put in there. Guys, I don't know if I mentioned this previously, but it is gonna be a rear engine, so. It's just going right back here. So we actually ran into an issue where coilover was actually rubbing on the body and hitting this part right here. That's gonna have to be fixed, but it's not, it's it's really close. It's really, the clearance issue isn't that bad. But. So this is the gas tank that would be, what's cool is if you look inside of it, it has like this foam insert, which I was told is to prevent flames from starting. And this will be durable enough to mount the engine and transmission. It will once the whole assembly is there. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a number of small parts that end up going in here. So they'll stack up and then the engine mount will sit on top of that. And there'll be a bar that runs across from one side to the other. Right. Bolted onto the front of the engine. Oh, okay. That so makes sense. So you'll have these, then you'll have the rubber, like donut, on the top of that. And then the engine mount bar going across. Ah, okay. In the rear, where the axles come out here, the top of the transmission will be mounted to a steel subframe which attaches onto these. Okay. So you'll have three points of mounting, one middle at the top in the transmission area, and two on each side up at the front of the engine. Cool. So guys, to solve this clearance issue, we're just gonna make these little tiny spacers out of wood to go in between the top and the bottom uh, shock mounts. So we just took the other side, uh, the mounts for the other side, and we're just tracing them out on some wood, gonna cut them, drill the holes, and then clearing the shoe is solved for the prototype. I 
So now we're making the arm that goes from the bottom of the shock to the top upper control arm. Not the actual one, just a mock-up one to make sure everything fits correctly. Plenty of steering clearance. Binds up. So this right here is what it's gonna look like pretty much, right? <laughs> Very close. Very close. Very close. This is the complete mock-up of this side for the most part, as far as the suspension goes. So pretty cool. We made happy with our for today, okay? We got a good amount done. Get a milestone. <laughs> it's starting to look like a car.